Hey, good morning everybody. This is Dan with Ledger Support. In this video today, I'll show you how to check if a token or a coin is supported in Ledger Live. So let's do it. So let me start with what you should not do to verify if a particular crypto or token is supported in Ledger Live. Now, most people will go on the Ledger website and they'll go to this section of the website called Supported Crypto Asset List and then they will do a search for their token. The problem with this list is that it's actually not updated very frequently. And so sometimes it will give you the wrong information or something that is outdated. So it's fine, but there is a much, much better way to verify if a token or a coin is supported in Ledger Live. This is what I'm gonna show you right now. So this is what we call a Ledger, the crypto asset list. It's on GitHub, so it's completely public. And this list has the latest information on what and what is not supported in Ledger Live. So I'll drop the link to the list in the description below. Just something to keep in mind is you might need to change that number here at the top. You always want that number to be on the latest version. So currently the latest version is 2.54.0 at the moment I'm recording this video, but who knows in a couple of weeks, a new version of Ledger Live might drop and you might need to change this number. If you're not sure what is the latest version of Ledger Live, you can use this tool on our website. It's called Ledger Live Download Signatures. You open this little box here and the one at the top is uh, the current version of Ledger Live. Then you can uh, go back to the list and um, change this number with whatever the latest version is. Start with a quick overview of the list itself. There is two parts of this list. The first one is the coin section of the list at the top here. Those are the coins that have their own network. So for example, the Bitcoin, the Dash, the Phantom, the Hedera, um, Tezos, uh, XRP, Zcash, and so on and so forth. So those are the coins that have their own app that you can download on your Ledger device. If the coin is on the list, then it is definitely supported. Okay, so at this point of the video, I think it's super, super important that I clarify the difference between supported by Ledger and supported by Ledger Live. Because truth is, some of the coins in this list here, some of them are supported by Ledger, meaning that you will be able to create an account with your Ledger device, but they're not supported in Ledger Live, which means that you will not be able to create this account in the Ledger Live app. You will need a third party wallet to do it. So how can you tell which one is just supported by Ledger and which one is not only supported by Ledger, but also supported in Ledger Live? It's actually pretty easy. If you look at Bitcoin, for example, okay, so Bitcoin BTC, the word yes means that it is supported in Ledger Live. So I will be able to create an account, a Bitcoin account with my Ledger device in Ledger Live. However, if I look at something like something like the Flow blockchain, for example, we can see the word no on the same line. And that basically means that yes, there is a Flow app that you can download on your Ledger device. And yes, you can create Ledger Flow accounts, but you will not be able to create those accounts in Ledger Live. Instead, you will have to use a third party wallet. So I hope this is clear. The distinction between supported by Ledger and supported in Ledger Live makes sense. Let's continue. Now, the second part of this list is the tokens uh, section. This section is all about the different tokens that you can send into uh, an account. So for example, an Algorand account, a Binance Smart Chain account, an Ethereum account, a Tezos account, and so on and so forth. So the tokens are all listed here in this section alongside with the accounts in which they are supported in Ledger Live. Um, one thing to notice here is this number will actually go up with each new release of Ledger Live. So for example, if you were to go back in time and change this number to version 2.52, for example, then you will get a different number here. See, like, uh, and the reason why it's because um, each new release of Ledger Live lists more tokens. So if we go back to 2.54 here, we'll see this number increase by a lot. And you can see that uh, over 100 tokens have been listed 
since we updated uh, from version 2.52. And this is, by the way, the reason why we ask you all the time to keep Ledger Live up to date, guys, so you're able to see more tokens in the app. Uh, let me show you how to use the list to look for a particular token. One way to do it is by doing a control F and then pasting the ticker. And uh, you get like a lot of different results. So the list is telling us that USDC is supported on the Algorand network, provided that you are on this version of Ledger Live. Meaning that if you send USDC to your Algorand account, again, if you have the latest version of Ledger Live, then you should be able to see that balance in the app. Um, if I go down the list, I can also see that um, USDC is supported in Binance Smart Chain accounts, so that's also cool. But the problem is if I keep going down the list by using the ticker, I'm getting a lot of false positive. See this one, VUSD, which is a different token, and then it goes into like some completely random coins. So using the ticker is not a good way to search the list. Instead, what you want to use is the smart contract address for this particular token. So now let's go look for USDC smart contract address. I'm going to use coin market cap for the job, but you can also use coin gecko if you prefer it. It's perfectly fine. I want to go into the search bar here and type USDC go to the token page and I'm interested in the contracts uh, section here. It's giving me a contract address on Ethereum and sure enough, if I copy this address, go back to the list, do a control F and paste that in there, I'm getting a result highlighted in orange. And this basically means that if I send USDT token to my Ethereum account, then I'll be able to see that balance in the app, of course, provided that I am on this version of Ledger Live at least. Something very important to keep in mind here is the fact that this result only tells us that USDC is supported on the Ethereum network in the latest version of Ledger Live. It doesn't mean that USDC will be necessarily detected if you send it to a different account. Let me show you what I mean here. If I go back to the tool and go into the more section, I can see like there is a lot of different addresses that are listed here. This is because USDC is deployed on a different smart contract on all these different blockchain. And this is the reason why USDC on Avalanche, for example, has a different smart contract address than USDC on Polygon or on Gnosis or Phantom and so on and so forth. So let's say, for example, I wanted to know if USDC is supported in Ledger Live on the Tron network then I will have to grab this address here, which is the smart contract address on Tron, go back to the list, paste the Tron uh, address in there and press enter. As you can see, I'm not getting any results. That means that this version of Ledger Live does not support USDC on Tron yet. Maybe a future version will, but the latest, as far as the latest version of Ledger Live is concerned, USDC is still not supported. Now, don't panic. If you send USDC to your Ledger Tron account, the USDC will still be stored in your device, but you won't be able to see it in the app. Instead, you will have to use something like Tron Scan to view the balance and manage the token. All right, so let's do one last example before we wrap up the video. Now let's say I want to check if the stablecoin DAI is supported in Binance Smart Chain accounts in Ledger Live. All right, so I want to go type DAI in the search bar here, grab the Binance Smart Chain uh, contract address. That's the one at the top, copy this, go into the list. Here, I want to make sure again that I'm on the latest version of uh, the list. If I'm not sure if that's the latest version, then quick look at the Ledger Live download signatures page. That's the latest version, so I'm good to go. Here, I'm going to do a control F and paste the DAI contract address. So I'm getting a result, which means that DAI is indeed supported in Ledger Live when sent to a Binance Smart Chain account. So the balance will show in Ledger Live. However, I'm getting some more information here on the side. It says counter value disabled. Whenever you see counter value disabled in the list, this basically means that Ledger Live will be able to tell you how many coins or tokens they are in your account, 
but it won't be able to return the value of that bounce. Instead, you will get a dash here instead of um, the euro or US dollar or national currency value. All right, guys. So again, do not use this tool here to verify if a token or coin is supported in Ledger Live. Instead, please use this tool here. It's much, much more accurate. If you still have difficulty searching for the list or you've got any question or you're still not sure if a asset is supported or not in Ledger Live, feel free to hit us up uh, at support. So you can go onto the Ledger website at ledger.com, push the support button here. Uh, this is the help center. You just need to click the contact us button, have a new conversation with the bot to be directed to your live agent or to send us an email. Another way to reach out to us is via YouTube. We run daily YouTube AMAs where we give you live support. It's very, very quick and people love it. So you just need to go to at Ledger uh, on YouTube, navigate to the live session here, and then you can uh, register for an upcoming uh, live support session. So yeah, we run those AMAs daily. There is a um, schedule that's available as well on the help center. So you can look that up and find the spot that is um, best for you. All right, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and also share the video with people that might need this information. We'll see you in the next video. Please catch us on YouTube. If you have any urgent question, we'll be super happy to have you on. Um, that being said, be careful. Don't share your 24 with recovery phrase. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.